to this how-to video. This video will help you create a document for your team to use and share amongst that team. So let's get on with it. As I just reduced the size of me on the screen, you can see that I have logged into Teams. Let's just check that we know where we are. If I click on Hebron Pentecostal Church in general, I get our weekly notices that go out. And I can see our normal notices, uh, Sunday School and their songs, um, Luke sending out our reminder about home group studies, and he's sending out a message about any queries, questions and answers. So I'm going to click on the channel that I want to share my document with. So you need to have a think about this. What team, what channel do you want to share your document with? Because that's where your file is going to be stored initially. So I'm going to go onto the how to channel. That's the one where you've just picked up this video. And I can see all my posts, but what I'm interested in is a new document. So I'm going to work my way up here to this files tab. And that's what we often call these. We call them tabs. And I'm going to click on files. And what this will do is search for any files that have been uploaded. And there are all the videos. But I'm not interested in a video today, I'm interested in a document. So in the files tab I can now see a menu of other things here and the one that I'm interested in today is new. So if I click on new I can now see the range of things that I can create and we anticipate that some of the ordinary things that people want to use is probably Word and Excel. So if you're already familiar with Microsoft Office, these will look familiar to you. You can create folders, that's at the top of the list if you want to tidy up your documents as well. Now, I just want to create a Word document. So I'm going to give my document a name. I'm going to call it How to Create a Document. Create. And straight away, it's going to take me into a version of Word that, if you're familiar with using Word, is going to look uh, pretty much the same as it would normally to you. So I've got my Word document ready. Okay? I can type in it as normal. This is a new document. Okay? I can do my normal formatting. I can put it in bold. I can underline it. I can make the font as large as I want. Uh, I can do all the normal sort of stuff. I can insert a table. So all the normal sort of things that I might anticipate Word can do, I'm seeing there on the document. Now the beauty about this system is there's no save button. All you need to do is go up to this corner here where you can see the close button. And I'm simply going to click on close. It's taken me back now to my list of documents, my list of files, and right at the top of my list now, because mine is arranged so it will put the newest one at the top, and I've got that by this little tab here. And I can see three little lines showing me that this is a new document. If I go back in it, I click once with the left mouse button, and it takes me straight to that document that I have created. There it is. So no saving necessary, which will help those of you that often forget to save. Okay, and we can close that again and it will still be there for us. Okay, now I can arrange my files in a slightly different way. I can arrange them by name, A to Z. I can even arrange them by who created them or the date at which they were created, which was what I had just then, the new ones at the top. So that's how we create a file. To get back to our channel, we go to posts. And if I want to now, I can attach that document uh, to my new conversation. Okay, but now everybody in that channel will be able to see those files. They'll be able to edit them. And in fact, more than one person at a time can edit on those documents. Hopefully that will help your team and hopefully you'll find a use for looking at those files. So I would say, Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. See you again soon. Bye bye.